Hey YouTube, how's it going? Milton Prepper here. So, I'm sure you guys have seen a couple of a patch on my uh, plate carrier. It's uh, black with the shape of a bird and an orange circle. So, basically what that is, that is the uh, symbol of um, the Strategic Homeland Division, aka the division from the video game Tom Clancy's The Division. So, I'm a huge fan of that game. So, I love it. I thought it was a really good game. Uh, just a little bit of a background. The video game revolves around a, a genetically modified and lab engineered virus known as Green Poison. It was put on t put onto banknotes and distributed by a biological terrorist on Black Friday in New York City. But turns out turns out to be the entire country and I think the world. I don't know, but I never played the second game, but I've played the first game and I love it. Uh, but that game takes place solely in New York City on Manhattan Island, all right? So you play as a division agent and in that game you have different types of uh, gear sets. You got uh, Let's see Your backpack gloves knee pads holster gas mask and armor as well as primary weapon, secondary weapon, and sidearm. So, with me being a fan of that game, I decided to make my own division gear setup. So yeah, I wanna show it to you guys. Um, the bag is not complete yet. I still have a few things to get add to it, but as of right now, it is 90% complete. The only thing I need to add into it is like uh, a phone charger or something. Something that gives me a little bit of capability. So, without further ado, let's dive right into the kit. Starting off, <clears throat> this here is the Safari Land holster. Just so that the people on YouTube don't get angry. Chamber empty. Alright, cool. So, the holster that I'm running is a uh, safari land uh, let's see safari land this is their uh, 6004 ufa uh paddle shroud with the with the single leg strap i picked this because this is a great thing i don't need to worry about grabbing this big clunky war belt with all sorts of pouches on it. Uh, this, I just slip this over my belt, so my belt runs through that hole, this slot right there. Not the hole, but the slot that's right there. There. Run this around the leg. It's got the Q QLS locking platform. So if I did want it to run my belt, which is over there, I could take this off and throw it on my regular war belt. Um, Glock 19 Gen 4 with a TLR1. Stick that in the holster. It's got the uh, ALS and the SLS locking with the bail. I'm used to the bail. Uh, back when I was in a ship's reaction force, so it's second nature to me. And of course, if I'm going to carry deadly force, you have to have a form of non lethal. Non lethal means of uh, defending yourself and others. So, 26 inch baton, same gig, clips right onto the belt. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, this goes against a lot of um, cardinal rules when it comes to uh, gear and being a operator, imitating Bear from Bear Independent. Um, drop like mag pouch, all right? So on this here, I got my pistol reloads. They're actually rather comfortable for me to reach down and grab them. Um, I've shortened this as much as I can to get it up as high as I can up to my belt. But four AR magazines right there. 
sits there right on my leg very comfortably. It doesn't swing, doesn't swash, and I added a flashlight onto the side. So with that out of the way, let's get this out. Making room on the table. All right, now, next up, knee pads. These are just a pair of uh, 511 knee pads. I don't remember which ones they are, but they have a pretty damn good amount of miles on it. Um, I bought these back when I was in the, when I was a bail enforcement agent in uh, Virginia, and they work. They're very comfortable, very nice cushioning. As you get older, your knees aren't as good as they were before when you were younger. So, knee pads. Uh, for body armor, I'm going concealed body armor. Uh, here is a uh, concealable AR-500 plate carrier, vest, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, I got it in white because I'm probably going to end up wearing this under clothing. But um, there's the plates inside here. You got a trauma pad. Along with, uh, where is the rating? Where is the rating? Ah, there it is. Level 3A soft. So that covers armor. Um, I plan on replacing this armor as I very slowly meticulously and surely work my debt into non-existence once i pay for the uh bathtub that i got my wife i'm going to be putting money off to the side and getting the um safe life defense frass flexible rifle armor system it's basically soft armor that is rifle rated at level three using science and the modern uses of modern day technology. So, armor. And now, for the fun part. The bag. Oh yeah. Uh, this is a Mystery Ranch bag. This is their uh, two day assault bag. But I think I kind of packed this into like a three day bag. So, Obviously, if something happens, my ear pro would come off and go onto my head. Uh, these are by Tac Pack, I think. I don't know if they make their own, but the Tac Pack logo is there. A little parachute with a box. I like Tac Pack. I'm sad I had to cancel them. Couldn't afford it anymore because I'm trying to save money. So, ear pro, electronic. And then, a pair of gloves, mechanics gloves. Nothing special, nothing crazy. All right, bag. Here we go. We're gonna start on the outside, and then we're gonna dive ourselves in. Obviously, patch. Have to have patch. Uh, radio. Damn it, my daughter's trying to get in here. Radio, with a lapel mic going straight up to the shoulder strap. This is a Baofeng UV-9R. Uh, two Grimlocks and an S-Beaner. Immediate medical gear right on the outside. Let's see, what do I got in here? I got Quick Clot, an NPA, uh, chest seals, ARS needle, um, wound packing gauze, and... This should be an emergency trauma dressing. Yes, it is. Emergency trauma dressing. And that sits right in there. Immediate access. Coming along the other side, got this little pouch right here. MS-2000 strobe. With the lanyard wrapped in uh, electrical tape. 
just for a cordage control, if that's even a word. Over on the side, two tourniquets immediately for quick grab. And down here, got a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, a nesting cup. This is aluminum. You can boil with this. So, container, container, boiling water capabilities, all that good stuff. All right. Coming over here. On top, you got zipper here and zipper there. All righty. Open this up. In here, we got some tools. We got Sawyer Mini, water filtration, a multi tool. These are like quick grab items. A uh, little pet, uh, Princeton headlamp, compass, a silk key for um, opening up water faucets on uh, the side of municipal buildings and whatnot. Uh, urban, the urban prepper actually did a really good video on how many buildings in a city actually have a faucet that can be opened and used with this. Mylar blanket. And that's that for that. Repacking as I go. So that I don't have a gear bomb on my table. Moving down to this pocket right here. Boom. I got a neck gaiter. Keeps your neck warm. We are moving into the colder season. A fleece cap. And since I run electronics on my weapons and in my bag, battery cases. Um, eight CR123s. Uh, let's see what's in here. Two double A's, three triple A's. And two double A's and two triple A's. Huh, I need to fix that. Price is averted. Yeah, batteries. You're going to see more of these. They're compact. They keep your batteries all in one place instead of sloshing around all over the place. Easy day. There is one more pocket that I was actually surprised to find. Is there's a zipper pocket right there. Open it up. This is intended to be a laptop sleeve, but I turned it into something else. Flat documents. Got maps and uh, legal documents. Because this is doubling as a uh, go bag, it'd be important to have stuff of that nature. Alrighty. As you can see, Velcro patch right there, gas mask, is in this bag. Let's get to it. This is not some kind of LARPing kit. All this gear is real, obviously, but some people cosplay, costume play. They dress up as video game characters, and all their stuff is usually airsoft stuff, but not me. Open it up. Boom. Big bucket pocket right here. So immediately right here, what do I see? I see my gas mask. This is the uh, the tapper. The tactical air purifying respirator has been designed to um, function with uh, shouldering a rifle, getting that cheek well. It is by Mira Safety. And this is just their um, Particle Max P3 compact um, filter for doing things like filtering out um, solid particles. Dust, dirt, debris, that kind of thing. In the original factory wrapping, I got their uh, pecan filter. This uh, filters out uh, CN gas, CS gas, and OC gas. I have been hit with CS and OC. 
My eyes, even though this is a half respirator, I'm not too worried about my eyes because just blink and your tear ducts will start rinsing all that crap out. It's the uh, muscle spasms of your diaphragm as your lungs breathe that crap in. That is what hit me really hard. All right, so canister. There's your gas mask. Also up on top right here, we got medical. This is my iteration of the Bear Fac uh, from Bear Independent. And in here I have trauma shears, chest seals, emergency trauma dressing, s roll gauze, two five by nines, two four by fours, two two by two, and rolled gauze. NPA, ARS needle, duct tape, a tourniquet, um, gloves, a couple of other little things, odds and ends. And for your generic stuff, I just got a basic little family first aid kit because I have a family. I need to take care of them. <clears throat> this is just your uh, adventure medical kits. I added a few things. Um, I added a, um, a rat's tourniquet and a snake bite kit because we live in snake country out here where I'm from. So all that medical and the gas mask sit on top where I could get it readily available. Also up on top, but still kind of in the middle, is the uh, Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho. Um, it's uh, fitted that way there's enough material on the back to uh, cover the pack when it's on my back and I'm walking around and it's raining and I don't want to get rained on. Poncho. Uh, here we go. Two more of these. Two more battery cases. Tent steaks. And quick eats. Uh, Nature Valley uh, honey and oak granola bars and water tasters. Well, crystal lights. Pink lemonade, lemonade, iced tea. Something just to give my water a little bit of flavor because that stuff really does go a long way. It gets boring drinking just water, just water, just water. Have some flavor. <laughs> but that, that's all kept in this little zippered mesh pocket right there. So I'm gonna put these back. All right. Over here, he's got another zippered pocket. And in here, I got a uh, one of them roll-up bags for the uh, Sawyer Mini. That way I could just fill this bag up with water, attach the screw the filter right onto the cap, take that off, put the filter right there, and then drink it like a straw. It's a squeeze bag, that's what the word is, squeeze bag. Squeeze bag, a small little espit stove with four trioxaline tablets in it for boiling water. Small fire making kit. Got a um, uh, flint and steel a magnesium rod with a striker. A uh, Fresnel lens. Some of this uh, wet fire. This is actually probably expired, so that's out. Two Bic lighters. And two types of matches. I should probably put this in a sandwich bag, but these are waterproof matches and strike anywhere matches. And another magnesium rod. Put these all back in. Moving on down deeper into the pack, we got some food, um, hot, wets, and cold, wet meals. Um, in here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
uh, the tuna creations, uh, barbecue, and buffalo. I like buffalo. And uh, some crystal, uh, instant coffee crystals. Because if you're out and about and something happens and you need to get out and you want to take a break and you want to eat something, drink something else besides water or flavored water, you got to at least make yourself a somewhat of a decent cup of coffee. Coffee's good. Um, down here, 100 rounds of 9 millimeter. I'm probably going to end up weighing this box to see how actually how heavy it is because ounces equals pounds, pounds equal pain. And this is 100 rounds of 9 millimeter. So I'm going to try to reduce some weight. Uh, for the main food, got one of them SOS ration, emergency food rations. This is... Let's see. This expires in 2025. I believe these are 3,600. Uh, each packet of nine fortified food bars provides 3,600 calories. Offers maximum survival capacity with drinking water. Restriction under all environmental conditions. So it's light, compact, easy to eat. Moving in deeper down into the pot pack. Uh, I've got a shelter piece here. This is the stash of bivy. I can use this as an improvised sleeping bag, improvised sh uh, shelter piece, what have you. Or a even a litter if I had help. Down here, socks and underwear. And the last thing at the bottom of the main pocket is I have a bandolier of six mags of um, five, five, six. That is my resupply. If I can get this back in here. All right. I'm gonna pause the video real fast. I'll be back. And we're back through the modern uses of cinema technology. So I got the bag mostly repacked. There's more stuff in here. Uh, we're gonna get into that now. Uh, release these two compression straps and grab this zipper pull. And it opens up the, the rest of the pack all the way like that so you can get to things at the bottom relatively quickly. So these two pockets right here are the last ones we got. Uh, small. Military scout pocket survival tin all the buzzwords, but a lot of good stuff in here Wilderness stuff since I live near the rural area Right here hygiene kit And that is that for that pocket and in this last pocket right here we got a Rifle cleaning kit Keep your rifle clean and it will work wonders. And all I got in here is some uh, brushes, gun lube, quick wipes from Breakthrough Clean Technologies, and all my rods. And these rods are compatible with my uh, Leatherman Mutt. Uh, signaling, good old glow belt. Throw this around your waist, th wrap this around the pack. Signaling item. A lot of people in the Navy freaking hated these things because we couldn't go anywhere in school without having it on us and it was an inspection item, but I still kept mine. And the last thing for signaling, we got a handheld marine red signal flare and a handheld orange smoke signal. And that is that. The only thing, like I said, the only thing that I need to add probably is uh, some kind of um, charger to um, charge my electronics, like my radio, cell phone, in case cell phones are still working and whatnot.
And that, my friends, is that. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, um, suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments. I read every single comment that I get, and I respond to at least, I try to at least respond to all of them. But on that, this has been Milton Prepper, and I'll uh, see you guys out there. Hope you guys liked the video.